What's up, guys? Welcome to Slops Locks Thunderdome Edition, the greatest sports betting show in the history of sports betting shows. Everybody knows that. If you've never seen this show before, you're going to want to hit subscribe right now because we have three of the greatest sports bettors in the history of sports betting giving you picks today. You're never going to want to miss another one of these shows. So while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and introduce these guys. First, we got one of my favorites from BetQL, the great Lucy Burge. What's up, Lucy? We missed you last week. Slop, I missed you last week. Missed all of you guys last week, but I am ready to come back with a sweep. I know I am sweeping the Thunderdome, mm. so uh, that's just a, a spoiler alert for everybody okay. that uh, that this will be another a sweep, and I am back and, and ready for action. Remember that time you swept home runs twice? Remember the other time, too? Yeah, that was awesome. Wow. That was awesome. I had a great that time. time? So, it was fun. Whew. Not to be overdone by Lucy, we also have another one of my favorite people, a lot of people say he's my best friend, and I think he might be. That's true. From Odds Checker, the great Matt McEwen. What's up, dude? It's good to see you. It's good to see you guys. Yeah, disappointing uh, go of it last time. I think I went one and two, lost to Thunderdome. Who won that one? Lucy, did you win that? Or, I, it was probably. No. It was pretty- I, <laughs> I believe a lot of people said I mopped the floor with you. Oh, you won that one? Okay. See, I wouldn't say that. I don't know who said that, actually. Okay. Yeah. But, okay, so that my bad. I said – because I said been... overdone, but apparently it's outdone. That's what Nigel has to okay. do. So Still. sorry about that. Not to be outdone by Lucy Burge, Matt McEwen. We'll do it again. Yeah, it's good. Do it again. No, we, we like that. Yeah, but I, I'm putting an asterisk on that win, John, because you had a Thunderdome the next day. You know what I mean? So it, it didn't, yeah. it didn't flow. It wasn't a Friday Thunderdome win. Mm-hmm. I, I think it count. Uh, That's correct. Win. But a lot of people are saying I didn't win a single bet in that Thunderdome the next day, mm-hmm. but I don't well, because if, if you're smart and like what most gamblers do is they just forget about any time they lost and just right. move on the next day. Right. Bury the football after a bad yeah. loss. That's what you do. Yeah. Move yeah. on. Yep. Okay. Okay. So now that we're going to – we're just going to move on. I don't want to talk about it. I, I, I'm thinking about losses now. Like I'm literally thinking, no. man, I did No. Positive don't vibes. I did not, I don't think. It's Friday. Good vibes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so if you've never seen the show before, what we're going to do is we're going to go in order. Everybody's going to give one pick each. Or I'm sorry, three picks each. We're going to go one at a time, snake draft style. Whoever ends up with the most units wins because that's all that matters in sports betting is units, not records. We'll go Lucy, me, then Matt. I think that's fair, right? Do you agree that's, to that? That's yeah. good, man. Yeah. Do you so like not, that? Yeah. Not to be overdone by Matt. I think that yeah, you don't I go first. Nobody yeah. wants to be overdone. That's, no. that's, that's you never want to get overdone. No. No. Especially, no. you know, stuff you have in the oven, chicken. That's, that's a valid point. That's you don't want to be overdone. Great point. Exactly. All right. So we give cooking tips now, too. We yeah. do, yes. <laughs> yes, chef. Um, right. So I will so begin. Go ahead. All not? right. So I'm I mean? starting I'm starting with a baseball pick because I like instant gratification and I want to know today if mm-hmm. a couple of my bets hit perhaps. So I'm starting with a home run prop on Matt Olson. Do hit a home run plus 270 at that MGM is where I got this. Matt Olson has three home runs in his last three games with two against the Phillies on Monday. He has four home runs in his last six games for 51 home runs on the season. That a is lot. correct. So yeah, Johnny Cueto will be starting for the Marlins and in nine at bats against Cueto, Olson has two home runs already. So I like him to make it one more home run tonight. That's um going to double that's, check. That's- Ballsy going. Does he have 51 home runs this season? I, I think. Yeah. He has. Oh my god, he does. I had to. Yeah. I had to triple check my own work there. My goodness. Right, so okay. Like, well, you, there you, you go. Running in your head. You don't even need to look at that because you you just keep the count running in your head. Yeah, that's right. true. I had to. I had my photographic memory. I had to look back at the stats. Ballsy right. move to take a baseball play on an NFL show, but hey. Yeah. Well, there, there are no go. rules in the Thunderdome, Lucy. Everyone exactly. So there's no way you can violate the rules. I'm going to go next, though, because I want to talk about football, and I want to talk about Saquon Barkley, 75-plus rushing yards, plus 100, even money. Look, guys, that that last week, that shouldn't count, all right? It was pouring down rain. The Cowboys probably are a wagon. I'm not sure that they're a wagon, but they kind of look like a wagon defensively at least. So that that game doesn't even count. Here's the thing, though. Barkley went 12 for 51 against them. That's... That's pretty damn good. You know what I mean? I guess the Cardinals, uh, when you convert it to, you know, when you convert by team, that's probably 150 yards, I would say, at least. 
we only need 75, which is half if you're finished, with, if you're familiar with math. So I'm one and oh, plus one unit. You're up, Matt. All right. I'm going to come in with a banger though. So uh, I'm going to come in with a plus 227 bomb. Uh, I'm going to take the Bengals alt spread minus 10. So Bengals mm-hmm. rated this week. Nice. Bengals looked bad last week. I don't know if you guys yeah. watched that game. Yeah, 24 to three. They lost. Yeah, three, three points. Uh, Joe Barrow was, you know, he got his money and then he, he basically took a week off. Yep. Not, you can't blame him, right? I'll be honest week. with you. I would take multiple weeks off. If I was going to say, it's a better man than me. I might, yeah, I might take a week me again. Right, yeah, yeah. So yeah. congrats to uh, to him for getting that contract. But pretty bad showing last week. This week, they're at home. Ravens have a lot of injuries. Uh, they lost J.K. Dobbins for the season. But more importantly, Marcus Williams, their safety's out. He might be out for the season, too. They got a couple of linemen banged up. Bengals at home. A lot of people liking the Ravens this week. You guys know how it is. Recency bias. Uh, I'll take the Bengals all the way up to minus ten. So they're, they're really minus three and a half. We're gonna we're gonna move them up uh, plus two twenty seven. So need a big big night from Joe Burrow uh, to to cash that in. Actually, I think that's a day game. But I, I yeah, yeah yes yes he'll have a big night as well. I was gonna yep. say yeah he's After not gonna the game, he got well, a haircut yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. correct yeah. or before the game whatever yeah and then the, the next pick. This one's ugly, but I'm going to take the Patriots money line plus 130. Oh, kidding. Oh. Yeah. Oh, do you have it too? No, I oh. am a not taking it. Oh, oh my okay. goodness. I, I thought, okay. All right. That's not that bad. But all right, oh. let me tell you why, though, real quick. I love when he says a pick. And everyone's like, God damn. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. What the hell's wrong with this guy? No. So the, the Patriots coming in. Look, they looked pretty bad. They played my Eagles week one. They both looked really bad, right? Like, neither team looked that good. But the Dolphins kind of looked like the best team in the NFL. Um, with all that said, they're like only a three point favorite here. And I don't know if you guys saw the Patriots uniforms. They're wearing those like red throwbacks. Yep. It's, it's a uniform bet. So I just think in those uniforms, they look better than the Dolphins do. If the Dolphins went with like their alternate throwback, all whites, uh, which they should do, I would probably pick the Dolphins, but they're not. So this is a uniform bet and we're getting it at plus 130. Uh, Mac Jones, Mac Jones didn't look that bad, right? I mean, the, who was the receiver? No, he was actually. He was okay, right? Yeah. They just had receivers who didn't know how to catch the ball. That that booty guy is – I mean, yeah. he's going to do All you do is yeah. catch the ball. Don't like let it – 200 plus yards, and it was pouring down rain. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. true. So, I think they'll look a little bit better this week. Uh, Patriots money line, yeah, plus 130. Sunday night football. So, if the Thunder was close, this will be fun because we kind of get to sweat it out. Uh, the last game we could bet for the Thunder this week. So, yeah, Patriots money line plus 130. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I don't. All right. So I'm a big Mac Jones is not good guy. And then last okay. week he kind of looked not bad. So that he was also like looked. He looked a little like thinner. He just looked nice, you know, compared yeah, to like what, sleek. Yeah. Very sad he after sleek. He, yeah. he looked. Yeah. He was very sorry that they lost. So I, I brought you points for that. Also, right. too, that defense is like very good. Pretty good. And, and I heard uh, Mac Jones Eagles last night just blowing up Minnesota. I like it. there was one play that I noticed I was bowling. So I mean, obviously I was focused on the bowling game. You know, big time teammate here. But there was one play I noticed where all five Eagles guys took and just pushed back the defensive line probably five yards, like all five. Like you're just like, what the hell just happened? So yeah, yeah their um, line's not that good. The the that's their their weak point but yeah. but i mean like it was like wow like these eagles are actually really good and the patriots kind of held up against that so i don't know we'll see i don't know the uniforms now, that was, that now week last week but i'm not sold that they're that good yeah no but the uniform factor you know it's what huge. that's not it's not the worst that's reason what takes, that's yeah. what takes it over the top exactly yeah. yeah that's why they're gonna that's why they're gonna win. all right so that's two plus money bangers from matt not bad not bad i'm gonna go ahead and go with i have two i'm not sure which one i want to give out next i'm gonna go with jahan dodson 50 plus receiving yards plus 120. That's at DraftKings because FanDuel still does not have all lines out, which is not cool. But um, he had 40 yards last week. It was pouring down rain, so adjusted for weather. That's like 80 yards. And like in my head, I just did that in my head. Yeah. But uh, we only need 50 here, so that's not bad. The Broncos, they're probably gonna be able to stop the run, which which I really hope so because if that happens, then they're gonna have to throw it to Dodson. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Pat Sertan plays for the Broncos, and he is very good. I would think he follows McLaurin around, which means Dotson is the obvious guy that you know, you're going to have to throw to, especially since the commanders – I almost said the R word – especially <laughs> since the commanders will be throwing the ball since they'll be losing. 
this is probably the greatest bet of all time. I'm not sure yet, but I still have another one that might also be the greatest bet of all time. You're up, Lucy. I'm not 2-0, though. Plus okay, so. well, I would argue that that mine is the greatest of all time because it is on the Lions, the Detroit Lions, Ooh. to okay, yeah, cover the spread, minus 6 against the Seahawks. This is at minus 110 at BetMGM, but I like the Lions to cover here. I am all in on them to keep covering spreads. They are a spread-covering machine, so I think that coming off of their week one win over the Chiefs, the Chiefs of all teams. I think this will be a follow-up for the ages for the Lions here to cover this spread. There's also a, a trend in their favor here is Dan Campbell, who I would run through a wall for, a brick wall for Dan Campbell. He is 15-4 and four against the spread in dome games. And, you know, we love a good dome game, yeah. so I am a wall for the Lions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I Lions minus six. That's a great stat, 15-4 in the domes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know what else is a good stat that Nigel just put in the chat is that Belichick has never beaten Tua, but he also added weirdly. Yeah, so it is last season. Is the cool. one time they lost the Dolphins, Tua was not there. Yep. Oh. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he's due to beat them then. So that, that makes my better. Very due. Mm-hmm. Very due. The due mm-hmm. factor plus the uniforms. The uniforms. Yep. It's, it's making a case. It, it, you might not want to go money on You might want to go alt spread. Like minus, better. minus 10. Yeah, yeah. my yeah. 10. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's one of my 10. All right, Lucy, stop stalling. Yeah. You're up again. Okay, for my my third pick, and then I could also replace my first pick with a football pick, and then that could be – but, you know, Matt Olson, maybe he played football at one time. He, he probably did. He probably did. He probably he did. He did at some point. You got yeah, I'm ball. sure. I'm sure yeah. he did. You've got players like Will Middlebrooks played baseball and football, and so, you know, there's – there's right. it, it happens. Deion Sanders. Yeah, Deion, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? Bo yeah. Jackson. Yeah, okay. So there's plenty. Yeah. My second – my third pick, I guess, then, Buffalo Bills minus eight and a half against the Raiders. This is pretty much just because I think the Bills are so much – yet. Yeah, no, they are so much better than the Raiders. I want to – see, I, it kills me because I want to take the Raiders because Tom Brady is a part owner. Jimmy Garoppolo, you never know with his injury history what could happen to him. I do not trust the Raiders in this spot. I think the Bills will demolish them. So I like Bills minus eight now. I bet MGM. I – absolutely love love that pick i love it for two reasons because i think it's gonna win but i also like it because if that pick wins then my next pick's gonna win which means oh what's the price on the bills oh is that okay let me make sure that that is probably minus 110 but it's minus eight and a half so yep sweet so double check that one you're gonna get credit for a minus 10 win while i get credit for a plus 310 win because I have James Cook, 75-plus rushing yards, plus 310. That's at DraftKings because FanDuel does not have their all lines up yet. Whatever. Anyways, I don't know if you guys watched that game Monday night, but the Jets' defense is legit. Like, legit, legit. Like, they're very good. So they're kind of scary if you're an AFC East fan because, again, uh, you have a really legit defense there. But guess what? Our guy, James Cook, I think he went for like 40 something yards against him. He, he, he was not scared. He only had 12 attempts though, just because of how that game played out, but he was on the field for 61% of the snaps. So he is their running back. It's a bell cow type guy. Not, not a bell cow. I don't, I don't want to be, you know, I don't know, but it, it, anyways, point is he's going to be on the field all the time. Guess what? Because the bills are going to kill the Raiders. They're going to absolutely demolish them. He's going to probably have this at halftime. So we're not going to have to sweat it out at all. It's plus three ten. I I I don't know what else to tell you guys. I just swept. Oh, other than that, you're up. Okay, I'll, I'll take some. All right, I'll, I'm going. Uh, this is going to be kind of boring, but it is just a minus minus one uh, minus one ten bet. Chiefs minus three. So we were talking about Lucy. You said the Bills bounce back. I and so I think the Bills, Chiefs, and Bengals all bounce back. They all lost Week One. Uh, right. Still the two best teams in the AFC. I don't know. I, I don't fact check me on this or do fact check me on this, but I don't think Mahomes no, ever started 0 2. I would say no. So I, I think that continues. Not even in like Pop Warner. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't just mean the NFL. I just mean like in his life. Since yeah, he, yeah. So it's not possible. No, exactly. So it's probably <laughs> not possible. The Jags looked okay, but they were, they were kind of in like a close game and the Colts suck, you know? So like I'm not that convinced on. I like the Jags. I got them to win like the division and all that stuff, mostly because that division's just brutal. But 
Yeah, I think the Chiefs bounce back. You got Chris Jones back on the field. He didn't play in week one. He was holding out. Uh, best defensive player. And then I think Kelsey's back, right? I, I think he'll be back for this game. I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see him. Not a doctor, but I, I think he's – Yeah, again, not not doctor. Jason Kelsey said he could have played in week one. Oh, so I trust his brother. And, you know, he uh, could be, him and uh, Taylor Swift are hitting it off. He might have sat out this – you know what I mean? He was in New York, yeah. Exactly. He might have, he might have just gone to see her. Exactly. Like, you know what? I'm hurting a little bit, but not that bad, but I'll just go see Taylor. Right, yeah. So. Yeah, that's possible too. Makes sense. It does. It makes. I mean, that makes more. Yeah, more sense. Yeah. So, n- nonetheless, though, with, with Kelsey back in the lineup, and they probably should have won that game. Kadarius Tony, I think we need to investigate him, right, with the fact that he might have bet on the lines that night because he basically gave them. I, I mean, he literally like handed them a touchdown. You know, dropped a dropped a pass that would have put them in field goal range. So I saw st- his points per like target was like negative. So if like they <laughs> bottle him three times, the other team gets a touchdown. Is basically how it worked out. I was like, wow, that's, that's yeah, not good. That's not good. And the funny yeah, thing was when like, him and the Giants fans like have some like crazy beef, I guess, on Twitter. I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, he was talking trash. So he deleted his Twitter account, didn't he, or something? He deleted one account and then yeah. went back to the Giants like a couple days later. It's like, what? yeah. Like, he was like, ha ha ha! Yes, we get by the Cowboys. Just like somebody and- was, somebody was like, delete your account, and he was like, okay. And- <laughs> yeah, he's like, you know what? That's probably a good idea. Like, it's a good idea. Like, it's so bad. That's how you. We can judge how bad guys played. Like, yeah. Right. If, if you, you delete, delete your entire game, account, you probably yeah. Play a game. Yeah, I, I agree with that. But hopefully, he just doesn't play this game, and they uh, and they cover. So yeah, Chiefs minus three. I think they they bounce back and cover here. I don't mind that at all. I kind of I was looking at some of the Jaguars players, like some of the receivers, but I think it's gonna be raining that day, so mm. I decided not to go. But the reason I was looking at Jaguars receivers because I thought that was raining in Florida, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it rains all the time in Florida. But I, I, I just, I'm just I'm scared of the rain because that's what happened to me last week. I didn't realize it was gonna rain and the, or to even look, and I did not look, and I had like a brown stack. So the second I so I turned the game on, I watched the kickoff. I'm looking, I'm like, wait a minute. Is it pouring down rain? And I got a guy that moved to 375. I'm like, that sucks. And then later on, I went to um, – I don't want to say I was chasing, but I was kind of chasing. And uh, I went to take the Cowboys-Giants game. So I'm looking at receivers. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to check the weather report. Yeah, that was a monsoon. That one was even worse. That was that, that rain. Was I was like, dude, like this is like – like I don't know. God got together with the NFL and like just like, screwed me over. But whatever. It's yeah, fine. It There's something written in the chat. <laughs> Can you read that, Lucy? I yeah, can't. let me let me read this. Move over here and read this. Nine leg parlay, gentlemen. Ooh. If for ten dollars, if you put ten dollars on this nine leg parlay, you would win thirty four thousand nine hundred and nineteen dollars and fifty one cents in honor of Matt Olson and the number of home runs he has already hit this season. Those fifty one yeah. cents if you put ten dollars. It's a, a motif at this point. The number yeah. fifty one. Yep, so it's a Picasso. Show. Yep. Correct. Correct. All right, I'm not saying to parlay this because I think you guys are psychopaths for parlaying on these picks, but whatever. If you do parlay them, please play them straight too. Like you don't want to be the guy that you know right. loses on an eight and one show, Lucy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, especially if you have a baseball bet. Right. Yeah. That also means also in the middle. <laughs> yeah. At least then though, you'd still be able to uh, do an eight leg parlay. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah. So there's not like, yeah, like, yeah, paying to parlay them, but if you're gonna do that, at least be kind of smart about it. Yeah. Yeah. Use your I, noggins, folks. All right, guys. I have nothing else to say. If you guys don't have anything else to say, I think we can leave. I just want to know if Matt Olson played football. But I, I do too. I'm curious yeah. now. He yeah. did. You know what? At some point he did. He I know that did. for a fact. He at least threw the ball around the backyard at some point. There's, there's, a, there's owns Matt Olson that's an offensive lineman at Kennesaw State. So basically, yeah, it counts. Yeah. He was? No, no, no. <laughs> There's just like a guy named Matt Olson. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. I didn't say which Matt Olson, you know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you could you could play it up. Yeah, the guy from Kennesaw State. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. All right. I'm glad we, glad we took care of that. And I'll see you guys later.